Three firefighters battling multiple vegetation fires in the metro this month, similar to the one behind us that sparked just yesterday. And that's right, South Metro Fire Rescue says that both the hot weather and dry grass conditions are creating dangerous conditions in some places. Fox 31's Rachel Sauer speaking with South Metro about why this is raising concern as the 4th of July holiday approaches. Rachel. Yeah, in some places the grass is still green, which firefighters say can be misleading because it is still very dry, meaning just the tiniest spark can make a whole area go up in flames. This video here shows just how quickly one little spark can grow. It was just a grass fire, vegetation fire that was growing pretty rapidly, two to three foot flames in this area. Brian Willey with South Metro Fire Rescue says this fire began Monday evening near Thunder Ridge High School and grew quickly. It was some type of spark that hit it and it, and it just took off. The cause of this fire still under investigation, but firefighters found this debris at the scene. Meanwhile, about four miles away at around the same time, another fire at an open space in Highlands Ranch. Deputies say teens lighting fireworks here may be to blame. The hot temperatures, dry brush, and 4th of July right around the corner, creating a triple threat. With the, the hotter the weather is, it's getting drier outside. And just any kind of spark can cause any type of vegetation fire to grow much larger, much quicker. Exploding fireworks and ones that launch off the ground are illegal across Colorado. And fire officials are asking the community if they plan on using legal ones this holiday to be especially careful. If you are going to take part in legal fireworks, Please be prepared, have a bucket of water, have a hose, have a fire extinguisher, be ready for anything that could happen. South Metro is asking people not to report illegal fireworks through 911 unless there is a risk to person or property since it can tie up the emergency lines. Rather call a non-emergency number or report them online.